Hey friends, Miss Kay here. So we are going to read a story that I have on my computer. And so I am not going to show my face in this video, but I am going to read the three cabritos to you. And this word has a lot of Spanish words in it. So if you wanted to say the word goat in Spanish, you would say la cabra. You can practice that word with me, la cabra. Or if you wanted to be more specific, if you wanted to give more details, and if you wanted to say Billy Goat, you might say El Macho Cabrillo. El Macho Cabrillo. So this story is called The Three Cabritos. It is a fractured version of The Three Billy Goat Scruff. And this story is written by Eric Kimmel. And we have read other stories by Eric Kimmel. If you remember reading The Hanukkah Bear with me back in December, Eric Kimmel was also the author of that book. And it is illustrated by Stephen Gilpin. So Stephen Gilpin drew the pictures in the story. So let's look at the cabritos or the three billy goats on the cover of this book. What do you notice that might be different already between the three cabritos and the three billy goat scruff? You can tell the person with you or you can tell the screen. Well, I notice that these cabritos can play an instrument. That's pretty cool. So let's read to find out what happens in the story of the three cabritos. Be listening to see if you can find the things that are the same with this story and the original Three Billy Goats Gruff, and if you can find things that are different in this fractured version. The Three Cabritos. Once upon a time, three cabritos lived with their mother on a ranch near the Rio Grande. The three cabritos loved to play music. They had their own band. Ronaldo, the smallest and youngest, played the fiddle. Orlando, the middle one, played the guitar. Augustine, the oldest and biggest, played the accordion. One day, the three cabritos heard there was going to be a fiesta just across the border in Mexico. Let's go, the three cabritos said. There will be singing and dancing and plenty to eat. We'll take our instruments and play all night. We always have a good time when we go to Mexico. So this time, instead of going to the hillside, where are the three cabritos going? They're going to a fiesta or a party in Mexico. Don't go, their mother pleaded. To get there, you have to cross the bridge over the Rio Grande. You know who lives under that bridge. Chupacabra, the goat sucker. What if he catches you? You will look like a dead cactus when he is done. Don't worry, Mama, said the three cabritos. We're not afraid of Chupacabra. Well, I am, their stepmother said. Be careful and have a good time at the fiesta, but I won't rest until you come home. Mm, so who lives under the bridge in this storm? The three cabritos set out for Mexico. Ronaldo walked the fastest. He arrived at the bridge first. As he crossed, something jumped out from underneath the bridge. <gasps> chupacabra! So how does the chupacabra look different from the troll in the original story? How in some ways does he look the same? Buenos dias, cabrito, chupacabra says. So buenos dias means good morning. Say your prayers. I'm going to eat you. Don't eat me, Ronaldo pleaded. I'm so small and thin. My older brother Orlando will be coming along soon. He's much bigger. He'll make a better meal. Let me go, Senor Chupacabra, please. Do you think the Chupacabra is going to let him go? Mm, let's see. So he pleaded. That means he was begging Chupacabra to let him go. Maybe I will and maybe I won't, Chupacabra said. What's that you're carrying under your arm? My fiddle? Play something for me. If I like it, I'll let you go and eat your brother instead. Oh, gracias, that means thank you, Senor Chupacabra, said Ronaldo. He tuned his fiddle and began to play. 
Chupacabra danced back and forth across the bridge until he grew tired. So do you think Chupacabra liked his, liked his playing? What clues from the text tell you that he might have liked it? He was dancing. Good. That's enough. You can go. Ronaldo took his fiddle and ran across the bridge as fast as he could. He didn't stop until he was well into Mexico. Orlando came along next. As he was crossing the bridge, Chupacabra leaped out in front of him. Buenos dias, Cabrito. Say your prayers. I'm going to eat you. Don't do that, Senor Chupacabra, Orlando begged. So Senor means sir. I'm so skinny and weak. My older brother Augustine is coming along soon. He is big and strong. He'll make a much better meal. Let me go, please. What do you think the Chupacabra is going to say? Let's find out. Maybe I will and maybe I won't, Chupacabra said. What's that on your back? My guitar. Play something for me, Chupacabra said. If I like it, I'll let you go. I'll eat your brother instead. Gracias, Senor Chupacabra. Orlando tuned his guitar. He began to play. Chupacabra hopped and twirled across the bridge until he grew tired. That's enough. You can go, he told Orlando. Orlando grabbed his guitar and ran across the bridge as fast as he could. He didn't stop until he was miles into Mexico. Hmm. I wonder if the biggest Cabrito is going to be able to convince Chupacabra to let him go. There would be no one left for the Chupacabra to eat. Let's see. Augustine, the last of the three Cabritos, arrived at the bridge. Chupacabra jumped up before him. Buenos dias, Cabrito, Chupacabra said. Say your prayers. I'm going to eat you. Maybe you will and maybe you won't, said Augustine. I'm a lot bigger and stronger than my brothers. You're not bigger or stronger than me, Chupacabra sneered. Hmm. So what's a word that you would use to describe Augustine's character? I would maybe say that he is brave because he is standing up to the Chupacabra. What do you think the Chupacabra is going to do? Let's see. You're right, Augustine said. You're going to eat me no matter what I do. May I ask a favor? Let me play my accordion one last time. Then I'll lie down on the bridge and you can gobble me up. Go ahead, Cabrito, said Chupacabra. Play your accordion. When you're done, I'll eat you. Hmm. I wonder if Augustine has a plan. I don't think he really is going to want to let the Chupacabra eat him. What do you think Augustine's plan might be? If you were Augustine, what would you do to get away from the Chupacabra? Let's see if we can find out. Augustine began to play. Chupacabra danced and leaped, hopped and twirled, pranced and twisted from the end of the bridge to the other. At last he cried, you can stop playing now, Cabrito, I'm getting tired. I'm not tired at all, said Augustine. I forgot to tell you, I have a magic accordion. When I play it, everyone has to keep dancing until I stop. Enough, Cabrito, I can't dance anymore. Not yet. I don't want to stop. I'm having a good time. Augustine began playing faster and faster. Chupacabra whirled around and around. His face turned red. His eyes bulged. Smoke came out of his ears. I beg you, it will be the end of me if you don't stop. Chupacabra is getting tired. He is worn out from all this dancing. Is that so, said Augustine, then I'll keep playing. And he did faster than ever before. Chupacabra gasped and groaned. With a sudden shriek, he fell down on the bridge. He was worn out. Chupacabra shriveled like a punctured balloon. He grew smaller and smaller until only his husk remained as dry and brittle as a dead cactus. 
Augustine crushed it beneath his hooves as he crossed over to Mexico. The three Cabritos played all night at the fiesta. When they went home in the morning, they crossed the bridge together. No one had to worry about Chupacabra anymore. So they say. But as for me, whenever I cross over that bridge into Mexico, I make sure to carry my harmonica in my pocket, just in case. So what happened to Chupacabra? How did Augustine, the big cabrito, solve the problem? So here's what I want you to think about in, uh, with this story. I want you to think about what the cabritos or the goats in the story were able to do that real goats cannot do. So I want you to think about a real goat and then I want, or a real la cabra, and then I want you to think about the cabritos or the goats in the story. What could the goats in the story do that real goats cannot do? Okay, I'm going to put an activity on Seesaw for you to be able to talk about that. Have a great day. I hope you enjoy the story, friends. See you soon.